Hi, this is Lexar Wilton, and this is a video on how to use the onboard ship scanner and scan probes uh, so you can kind of explore around EVE. Um, I had noticed uh, while I was playing, quite a few people didn't know that you could use the onboard ship scanner to find anomalies uh, without getting out of your, your combat ship and getting into a scanner to use scan probes. So I added this video to kind of help some people out. And that way you aren't, you, know, you don't have to waste time uh, getting into your scan ship. You can just stay in in this one. Uh, for the onboard ship scanner, you open up your uh, scanner right there, and uh, once you do that, let me raise this up since I don't have any probes out. Uh, you just hit the analyze button, and the anomalies will show down here uh, once the scan gets done. Um, it, it doesn't really require any skills, but if you want a faster scan time, I suggest getting astronomic acquisition. It'll shorten it from 30 seconds down to, I think mine's down to like 5 seconds on my actual scan ship. And once it gets done, there's all the uh, anomalies that popped up and then uh, once you find the anomaly you want uh, which I'm gonna look through here for sanctums uh, or havens you just right click and then you warp to the distance that you want to go to whether it be zero or at range and then uh, you can just warp to that anomaly that way you aren't wasting time getting out of your your combat ship you can just use whatever ship you run the anomalies in. It saves a lot of time and uh, it, it lets you get a lot more ISK that way. Uh, with the scanner, if you minus it out or if you exit out of it, um, you can open it back up and retrieve all those scans that you scan down uh, as long as you don't dock or leave system. You can actually get all those back to where you can just warp to you know whichever one you want just go right down the list and there you go I arrived in the sanctum now to find uh, complexes or hidden grav belts like mining belts um, uh, and, and things like that you're gonna need a scan ship and these skills uh, once you get these skills you grab a uh, probe launcher and some probes and then you uh, you go ahead and start probing I'm going to go ahead and launch uh, five probes here. You can do it with four, but uh, I like launching five to kind of keep my group of probes nice and organized. That, that fifth probe right in the middle helps me keep the shape that I want. And uh, <laughs> you can kind of see uh, the probes out in space before they warp off. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cloak up here. And just like the the anomalies, um, you open up your scanner. I'm going to go ahead and move this up here and open that up. And as you can see up top here you'll see your probes. Um, they last for an hour and some change as you can notice the time's ticking down there. Um, you can have those out in space for an hour before you have to recall them. So uh, you don't have to really worry about that unless you have a lot of signatures. The next thing you want to worry about is your filter. You go to the little triangle over here, you go to create new filter, you go to the cosmic signatures, and you check cosmic signatures, and then you hit uh, hit save and that will make sure that all you're picking up are the signatures that you wanna wanna pick up you aren't picking up the anomalies or anything like that I'll move that out of the way and there's my five probes stacked on top of each other so you can see it's a 3d map I'm gonna go ahead and open up uh, widen my scan range here so it hits the entire area now to move all your probes at once, you hold down shift. 
Um, if you want to move one probe at a time, you just drag them by the arrows like this. But if you want to move all of them at once, and that goes with the uh, scanning radius, you hold down shift and then you move it. Alright, once those are in place, you have them a nice little plus with a fifth uh, probe right in the middle. And then you hit your scan, they'll warp out. Once they get in, in place, they will uh, they'll start scanning. Now as you can see, uh, I have a, a higher scan skill on this guy, so it goes a lot quicker. Alright, I picked up two uh, signatures. Let me show you what it looks like with the filter off. Yeah, see there's all the signatures, or the uh, anomalies and signatures together. So that's, that's how the filter helps. It takes a lot of that cluster out, and it just leaves those two there. Um, each signature has its own ID. Uh, it'll be letters, more than likely it'll be three letters, and a dash, and then some more letters, or numbers. And uh, that's how you're going to identify that signature to scan it down. And you want to keep track of that so you're still scanning the same signature, still chasing the same signature. You want to align it up uh, to where it's pretty much right in the middle of the box of that fifth uh, probe. Uh, on the plane. Then you move all of your probes in after you you take the scan range down and then you hit scan again they'll warp into place and they'll start scanning again. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up here because it's basically just a rinse and repeat. You find uh, the signature and then you move it You find the signature again, you move it, line them up, go down, move all those. Now there are five different things that you can scan for signature-wise. There's gravimetrics, which are mining, ladder, which is gas, radar, which is an analyzed site, you'll need an analyzer on your ship as well, magnetoms, which is a hacking site, and you'll need a, a hacking module on your ship as well, and then there's unknown, which it could be one of two things at that point. It's either a combat site or a wormhole. Uh, this happened to be a combat site. It was like a Grista's fortress. And it'll show you that. Uh, it'll show you whether it's a grav, ladder, radar, mag, or a, a unknown once it turns yellow. Once it turns green, if it's unknown, it'll actually tell you what it's called, whether it's a combat site or a wormhole. After that, you can, uh, once it's green, it's at 100%, it'll uh, let you warp to it, and uh, you can bookmark it. This one was a combat site, so I warped to about 100 just to kind of check it out and see what was in there. And this one happened to be an acceleration gate. And you just, uh, at that point, you can bookmark the acceleration gate and warp in with your combat ship. Um, that's pretty much uh, the scanning in a nutshell, and uh, I hope it helped some people out. If you have any questions, uh, contact me in-game, and uh, thank you for watching.